Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you a couple of plugins that you could use to create a coming soon page or a maintenance mode page on your website. Now why would you want to do this? Well, if you are just creating your website, you might not have content on there. You might still be configuring it, setting things up. So you might want to put a coming soon page on there. If you're doing a redesign, then you may want to put your website in maintenance mode. Or if you're a web developer or designer and you want to share your work product with your clients throughout the process of creating the site, you may want to put it into a coming soon page or a maintenance mode page so that way they can view your work progress while the rest of the world will see a splash page or landing page with maybe a countdown ticker or something signifying that the uh, the page and website will be activated and live soon. All right, so to get started, I'm going to go to the back end of my dashboard. I'm just using this blog as a as an example. I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to add new. Over here in the keyword search for plugins, I'm going to type out maintenance. And then there are three plugins that I'm going to go over today and you can choose which one you want to uh, use for your website. The one I'm going to go over is the coming soon page in maintenance mode by Seedpod. The other one is WP maintenance mode by design Mo moto. And then the other one is just maintenance by fruitful code. As you can see, they're very popular plugins and recently updated and well maintained. As you can see, this one's been updated two months ago, four months ago, six days ago. And it shows that it's compatible with this current version of WordPress. I've used them in various different websites and I've played around with them in the past. So I'm just going to demo these now one by one. The first one I'm going to demo is this one coming soon page and maintenance mode by Seedpod. I'll install it. Then I'll activate it. Once you um, activate it, you're going to be presented with their settings page, which you could find in the sidebar, the admin sidebar right here on the left and the coming soon page in maintenance mode. So this is the uh, general settings page. You could uh, keep it disabled, it's disabled by default. You could enable the coming soon mode or enable the maintenance mode. You could read up on what this means. Uh, the coming soon uh, mode is, uh, will keep it available to search engines if your site is not private. The maintenance mode will just notify the search engines that the site is currently unavailable. They also have a link that describes it further. So I'm just going to put in enable maintenance mode for now, just for this demonstration. And then going further down, if you want to upload a logo, you can do that. If you want to put a headline coming back soon, this is what I'll be using for that. If you want to put in a message, this is a demonstration of this plugin. Um, you can put a, whatever message you want to put in here. And if you want to make it longer, shorter, whatever, if you want to add images, you can do that as well as a full um, WYSIWYG editor here, or you can go into the text editor in that manner. All right. So if you want to give them uh, some love, you can do that here. And if you want to put in a favorite con, SEO title, SEO meta description, or any of your analytics code, you can put that here as well. So I'm just going to save the changes, but real quick, I just want to I recommend if you are using a cache plugin, you would, you'll want to uh, delete your cache and uh, disable it so that way it's not going to be presenting any cached version of your site. You see, I'm using the uh, WordPress, uh, the WP fastest cache plugin here. If I leave it active, then this plugin won't work. All right, so I disabled my cache and I deleted the cache. So I'm just going to save all changes. Now you can go into the design section and you get some more options. You can play around with the background color, use a full background image if you want, make it responsive. You can dim the background, make it repeat. You have a lot of different types of settings here that you can play around with. You can put in your own custom CSS. You can go to the advanced section and these are give you some additional options that you can play around with. Then you can look at the live preview just to see how it will look. Obviously, this is very blank. I didn't add anything fancy here. I just put in the coming back soon and this is a demonstration of this plugin. So that's basically that. We'll look at the design again and the content. Again, you can put your own logo, a different headline, more information. All right, so we're just going to save all changes again. Let's see how this looks 
when incognito. So this is Chrome incognito. I'm not logged in. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so you see now I just refreshed the browser and it gave me this blank page coming back soon. This is a demonstration of this plugin. All right, so it's pretty basic. All right, so this is from my uh, blog. All right, so now let's go back. I'm going to disable this, save all settings, save all changes, and then I'm going to go back here, refresh it, make sure that it took place and it did. All right, so now let's go to the other ones. I'm going to uh, delete this plugin for now. I'll deactivate and delete it. And then I'll add new. I'll type out maintenance again. Let's move on to the next one, WP maintenance mode. I'm gonna install it, activate it. And then now this one, you go to your settings and you're gonna get this link over here, WP maintenance mode. And then we're going to configure this one. Very easy as well, by default, it's deactivated. All right, so you can go down here and select some of the options that you want. Do you want the search bots to be able to bypass it? You can choose yes or no. You can choose the roles for the back end and for the front end role. Uh, if you want to change the robot's meta tag, you can do that. If you want to exclude any options, you can do that as well. So that's the basic settings there. So I'm going to activate this right now. I'm going to save the settings. Let's go to the design tab over here. So you can, uh, this is the title maintenance mode, the heading maintenance mode, and this is the text that comes by default. Sorry for the inconvenience. Our website is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Thank you for your understanding. You can customize this however you want, change the information, um, things of that nature. You can choose a type of background. You can customize the color, upload a background image or a predefined background. If you want to choose a color, you can choose that right there. And then if you do make any changes, just save them. And then now let's look at the modules. If you want to show a countdown, you can do that as well. So this is pretty cool. So let's show a countdown and let's say we're going to go for uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to put that it's um, April 21st of 2017. We'll do that. And then you can choose the color. You can choose a subscribe, show subscribe, yes or no. You can choose some more settings over here. All right, so let's see how this looks. I'm going to save the settings, okay? Now I'm still logged in, so I can see the website the way it is, but now let me go to that incognito mode where I'm not logged in. Let me refresh this and see how it looks. Okay, so now we see we have this uh, basic page. I didn't do anything fancy here. I just put it into maintenance mode. He gave me the message, sorry for the inconvenience, our website is currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Thank you for your understanding. And it has this nice countdown clock over here that's just counting down to when the website is going to be back up or live. So this is pretty cool. It's a very easy to use plugin. I'm gonna go to the back end again. I'm gonna go to settings. And then I'll go to WP maintenance mode. All right, so I'm going to deactivate this save settings and play around with this uh, plugin, the WP maintenance mode um, plugin. It's uh, very easy to use, very user friendly, has the functionality you need. And I like that countdown clock. It's really a nice feature to have. All right, but let me now uninstall this plugin. I'm gonna deactivate and then I will delete the plugin. And let me just make sure everything is good on the incognito mode one and it works. All right, so now let's look at our final option. Maintenance. We're going to go for this one over here by Fruitful Code. Also very popular and recently updated. Once you have it installed, activate it. Okay, and so now you see over here in the left admin sidebar, you have its own dedicated settings link. 
It's not found in the settings submenu area. It has its own dedicated link. You can just click on this link here. And then you can play around with the information here. Website is under construction. Give it a, a headline. You can change the description. Website will be available soon. You can put whatever text you want to put in there. And then if you want to put a footer text, set logo width, uh, set logo height, you can upload a logo, make it retina ready, choose a background image if you want, or you can play around with the background color, font color, font family, etc. There's a lot of good settings here. If you want to put your Google Analytics ID there, you can do that, custom CSS. And if you want to exclude pages from maintenance mode, you could do that here. All right, so it's already on. By default, it goes on. So you want to just remember that once you install it, this plugin will be activated. So you can just toggle whether it's on or off. And then make sure the settings are the way you see fit that you need for yourself. And save the changes. Very basic, very easy to use. They do have a pro version as well, so check it out if you want. So again, I'm logged in here so I can see the front of the site. But if I go back to my incognito mode one, refresh it, this is what you see. And of course, this is basic again. Uh, you can customize this further, put a background image, play around with the colors, uh, things of that nature. So it just has the name of the site. Maintenance mode is on. Website will be available soon. Hit the footer text. If you're the admin, you can click right here and you can log in that way. Very nice to do. All right. So you can see that this is a uh, very easy way to put a coming soon page or a maintenance mode page for your website. Again, this is ideal if you're going to be creating your website and want to um, have it uh, display some form of information temporarily until you get everything properly configured. Or if you're doing a website redesign, you're going to potentially want to do this as well. So that way, you know, people are not, you know, running into changes. Let me just uh, delete this over here. So that way, uh, you know, people are not running into um, seeing the changes you're making on your live site. So you're going to want to do that. Put a maintenance mode plugin or main maintenance mode page for your website. I'm going to go to my database sweeper here and just uh, clear out the database. This is using WP Sweep. All right. And the site's back up. All right. So those are the three plugins. Let me just show them to you again. I'm going to show you the names of the plugins. And they are Coming Soon Page in Maintenance Mode by Seedprod. Very popular. WP Maintenance Mode by Design Moto, also very popular, and Maintenance by Fufu Code, also very popular. These are great ways to, you know, put a maintenance mode or coming soon page on your WordPress powered website. Good for when you're starting your site, good for when you're designing your site, or when you're creating your website for a client. Uh, check it out. There's obviously other options as well. Uh, there's a lot of options, like most things with WordPress. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the uh, the top three that come up in the search results. These are all free. They do have pro versions, so you may want to check those out. And, um, you know, they're great ways to put a maintenance mode page on your site. Hopefully you found this episode helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because I'll be giving you more tips and tricks on how to manage your WordPress powered website, how to market your website, and how to keep your website secure. All right, so give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.